Hello again mga kababayan, welcome back to my channel and you are watching Pinay Glenda in Las Vegas! So today mga kababayan, I'm showing you our trip to Chicago, Illinois! Officially, the city of Chicago is the most populous city in the U.S. state of Illinois and the third most populous city in the United States. Chicago is an international hub for finance, culture, commerce, industry, education, technology, telecommunications, and transportation. On our first day, we visited the Bean or the Cloud Gate. It is a work of public art in the heart of Chicago. The sculpture, which is officially titled Cloud Gate, is one of the world's largest permanent outdoor art installations. Cloud Gate is a part of Millennium Park. Millennium Park is a portion of the 319-acre Grant Park known as the Front Lawn of downtown Chicago and has four major artistic highlights, the J. Fritzer Pavilion, Cloud Gate, the Crown Fountain, and the Lurie Garden. Millennium Park is successful as a public art venue in part due to the grand scale of each piece and the open spaces for display. A showcase for postmodern architecture, it also features the McCormick Tribune Ice Skating Rink, the BP Pedestrian Bridge, the Joan de Fort and Irving B, Harris Theater for Music and Dance, Wrigley Square, the McDonald's Cycle Center, the Excellent Pavilions, the AT&T Plaza, the Boeing Galleries, the Chase Promenade, and the Nichols Bridgeway. Millennium Park is considered one of the largest green roofs in the world, having been constructed on top of a railroad yard and large parking garages. The park, which is known for being user-friendly, has a very rigorous cleaning schedule with many areas being swept, wiped down, or cleaned multiple times a day. Although the park was unveiled in July 2004, some features opened earlier and upgrades continued for some time afterwards. Along with the cultural features above ground, the park has its own 2,218 space parking garage. In here, we visited one Prudential Plaza. When completed in 1955, one Prudential Plaza became the second tallest building in Chicago and ended a two decade long hiatus of all office building construction within the city due to the economic impacts of the Great Depression and World War II. The following day, we went to Navy Pier. Navy Pier is a 3,300-foot-long pier on the shoreline of Lake Michigan located in the Streeterville neighborhood of the near north side community area in Chicago, Illinois, United States. Navy Pier encompasses over 50 acres of parks, gardens, shops, restaurants, family attractions and exhibition facilities and is one of the top destinations in the Midwestern United States, drawing nearly 2 million visitors annually. It is one of the most visited attractions in the entire Midwest and is Chicago's most visited tourist attraction. 
Shed Aquarium is an indoor public aquarium in Chicago, Illinois, opened on May 30, 1930. The 5 million U.S. gallon aquarium was one for some time the largest indoor facility in the world. Today, it holds some 32,000 animals. Shed Aquarium was the first inland aquarium with a permanent saltwater fish collection. It is located on Lake Michigan on the Museum Campus Chicago along with the Adler Planetarium and the Field Museum of Natural History. Shoreless Sightseeing is one of the Chicago's most popular tours. With the city's largest fleet, 11 touring vessels, and six water taxis and dozens of architectural guides. Their architecture tours are some of the most popular tours in the city. Their guides share Chicago history as you take in breathtaking views of over 40 world-famous skyscrapers and landmarks. Here is the Adler Planetarium. It is a public museum dedicated to the study of astronomy and astrophysics. It was founded in 1930 by Chicago business leader Max Adler. It is located on the northeast tip of Northerly Island at the shore of Lake Michigan in Chicago, Illinois. The Adler was the first planetarium in the United States and is part of Chicago's Museum Campus which includes the John G. Shedd Aquarium and the Field Museum. Going back to Navy Pier, it is the People's Pier, Chicago's lakefront treasure, welcoming all and offering dynamic and eclectic experiences through partnerships and programs that inspire discovery and wonder. In 2020, Navy Pier continues to evolve in an accessible year-round centerpiece for Chicago's diverse arts and culture treasures. We've also visited the United Center. It is the Madhouse on Madison, the house that Jordan built, is an indoor arena on the near west side of Chicago, Illinois, United States. It is home to the Chicago Bulls of the National Basketball Association. With a capacity of nearly 21,000, the United Center is the largest arena by capacity in the National Basketball Association. Opened in 1994, the United Center replaced the Chicago Stadium. The United Center home the iconic Michael Jordan statue built in 1994. It is housed in the United Center atrium, which was completed as an addition to the arena in 2017. And last but not the least, we visited the Wills Tower, formerly known as Sears Tower until 2009, is a 110-story skyscraper in Chicago. At completion in 1973, it surpassed the World Trade Center in New York City to become the tallest building in the world, a title that it held for nearly 25 years. It lost the title of tallest man-made structure after only three years. The CN Tower in Toronto, which serves as a communications tower, took over the title in 1976.
And that is all for our Chicago tour. Thank you very much for watching. I hope na gusto niyo vlog na ito. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. This is your Pinay Glenda in Las Vegas. See you again. Bye for now.